Hi, today we're going to talk about how to enroll in Medicare Part A and B to avoid penalties. Hi, Daryl Russell, Licensed Agent and Director of Training here at Affordable Medicare Supplements or AMS. And today we're going to take a few minutes to look at uh, how you enroll into Medicare Parts A and B. So let's go ahead and start off with a quick part here. <clears throat> First of all, for some people, enrollment into Medicare A and B is automatic. And it is automatic for those who are receiving their Social Security benefits at age 65 or their Railroad Retirement Board benefits at age 65. So if those apply to you approximately three months before the month you turn 65, you'll receive an initial uh, enrollment period package directly from CMS, the federal agency that manages the Medicare program. And this includes people who are drawing Social Security due to disability, but they're under 65. Uh, you'll get that on the 25th month of disability benefits. But as most people are aware of, full Social Security retirement age has been pushed out beyond age 65, uh, but they're not linked, so many people have to enroll themselves. So when enrollment is not automatic, in other words, you're not drawing your Social Security benefits at age 65, you need to sign up. And you can apply through Social Security office, or if you're a railroad uh, employee, you go through the Railroad Retirement Board and you can apply up to three months before you turn 65. And the important key here is you do not have to be retired in order to enroll and be eligible for Medicare Parts A and B. Now, when enrollment is not automatic, there's paper applications, but there is also, uh, it be, you can enroll online through the Social Security website. So let's take a look, a quick walkthrough at that process. Welcome to VoiceOver. VoiceOver speaks descriptions of items on the screen. Wrong button. Let's try that again. Okay, so now we've got a, uh, uh, the Social Security website here on the screen, and you can see it's just ssa.gov. And once you <clears throat> get here, down here below, you'll see... Uh, it says Medicare Enrollment. So I'm going to click on Medicare Enrollment. And now I've got this portion here, and it's showing me Medicare information. I can continue to scroll. It gives me a quick rundown of the different parts of Medicare A and B. Should you sign up for Part B? And that's a subject for another video. We're trying to keep these short. Talks about special enrollment periods. And then it says here how to apply online for just Medicare. And that's the important thing because occasionally I get people concerned about, I, I don't want to draw my Social Security, I don't want to goof that up. It says, no, if you're within three months of age 65 or older and not ready to start your monthly Social Security benefits, you can use our online application to sign up for Medicare and wait to apply for your retirement or your spouse's retirement benefits later. And the best part is it takes less than 10 minutes. So you come down here, click the Apply for Medicare Only button. And it's still thinking. And then it's going to ask you a few things. You obviously need to check the box. Occasionally I get people asking, is it secure? Well, it's a U.S. government website for Social Security. Yes, it's very secure. And it'll come through here. It gives you a few ideas on what you need to do, ways you need to be ready. And if you are, click Start New Application. Yeah, are you applying for yourself? Uh, are you helping someone else? We do uh, quite frequently uh, assist people who aren't real computer savvy. Uh, you want to come into our office, you want to give us a call. Uh, we do have to identify you, but we can help someone who's not with you and then go on through the process. And from here, if you shopped on Amazon, uh, if you order stuff online, you can pretty much fill out the application. The best part, it takes literally less than 10 minutes. It, it works really, really uh, smoothly. I'm highly, uh, uh, big thumbs up for how this program works on the Social Security website. So let's go back to our presentation here. Because when you're new to Medicare at, at your age 65, it talked before about having a seven-month initial enrollment period. 
So when you're brand new to Medicare, the month you turn 65 is your center point, if you will. And you can sign up, do the application process as many as three months before, as well as the month you turn 65, and then three months after. So you have that time window to do that before you trigger in any penalties. So now that's what a lot of people want to avoid, uh, Part B late penalties. So let's talk about that a little bit. Well, your Part B late enrollment penalty is assigned to you for not signing up during your seven month initial enrollment period. And that penalty is 10% of the Part B premium for each full 12 month period you could have had uh, Part B but did not. And you may have that penalty for as long as you're enrolled into Medicare Part B. So it's important to avoid that. And if you do sign up late and miss your seven month enrollment period, there's a limited time every year. It's called the Medicare Part B general enrollment period, January 1 to March 31st, that you can actually do the paperwork. And if you do it in the general enrollment period, it still doesn't become effective until the 1st of July after that ends. Uh, keep in mind that your penalties, if you have one, are waived. So if you do not sign up for Part B when you first turn 65 because you had employer coverage through your employment or your spouse's active employment, these penalties will not apply to you. So let's take a look at an example of a Part B penalty. So here we have made up Mary and she delayed signing up for Part B two full years after she was eligible at age 65. And the key here, she did not have employer coverage based upon her or her spouse's active employment. So she just didn't want to pay the Part B premium. Well, now she's decided to sign up. So she has a 10% penalty for each full 12 month period. And assuming it was 24 months, then she will have in 2020, her Part B premium is 144.60. She's got two years times 10%, so that's 20% of 2892 or of 144.60 comes to 2892. And the government programs round up to the nearest dime, so instead of 173.52, her Part B premium is now 173.60 instead of 144.60. And of course, next year, if her Part B premium goes up, and generally speaking, it does every year, that 20% will apply to the increased amount. So it's important to avoid these things. So since Part B penalties hurt, let's talk about another thing of Medicare that somewhat hurts money-wise, and that's Part B Irma. And my favorite joke is, who is Irma and, and why did she get invited to my dance? Well, it doesn't apply to everyone. But IRMA stands for Income Related Monthly Adjustment Amount. And in IRMAs are based upon how much money you made two years ago. So they're based upon your AGI or adjusted gross income from your federal tax return. And it's on a rolling two year look back. You can always appeal if you disagree or you have a life changing event. And we've uh, notated the form there. And all IRMAs are paid directly to CMS, the federal agency that manages the Medicare program. And here we'll take a quick look at this. So uh, in a previous video, we talked about Part A and B and the premiums. So here we're talking about the IRMAs amount. So if your 2018 tax return and you file jointly, if you're under 170000 no problem, you pay the standard premium. But if you're one penny above, and you can see the different brackets, there's four different additional brackets, you can pay as much as $202 for Part B, $289, $376, and yes, uh, you can pay as much as almost $500 a month for Part B instead of the standard $144. So if you'd like more information on IRMAs, go ahead and go to our website. That's just amskc.com. Let me get that pulled up for you here. And once you're on our home page, we've got this little button here called Helpful Resources. 
go ahead and click on the helpful resources and you'll see we've got this Medicare cost at a glance and that'll take you here. You can download this and this is all of your Medicare Part A and B for cost benefits and on the second page it does show you the IRMAs uh, and some other information so uh, it's all available for you to download. We tried to put it in a nice simple easy place. Uh, there's even a Medicare and you uh, quick look at Medicare, how to understand enrollment periods uh, and we'll be adding stuff there as well just to make your life easier. So anyway um, Hopefully you found that helpful information, and uh, boom. As always, we thank you for uh, stopping by. Thank you for watching, and if you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Uh, leave us a comment. If there's a particular topic you'd like us to make a video about, uh, tell us. Leave us a comment in the section below, and we'll do our best to make that happen for you. Uh, be sure to click the subscribe button so you'll get automatic updates on any new videos as we release them. Again, I'm Daryl Russell, Agent and Director of Training at AMS. Good day, folks. Thanks for stopping by.